In fact, in the latest development that we are getting to here now, the CBI has filed an affidavit in Colgate in the Supreme Court. The CBI in the affidavit admits that its administrative, disciplinary and financial powers are limited. And in fact, they also say that it is necessary that the CBI director has equal powers as of government's secretary. And in fact, let's get in Rhythm, who's got this, uh, those breaking details here on Times. Now, Rhythm, you know, the underlying uh, fact here is the point what the Supreme Court has said, that obviously the CBI, when it comes to investigations, is a caged parrot. Now, tell us more about the crucial details that you're picking up from this affidavit. Uh, DP, it seems one of the first times ever that the CBI is openly in an affidavit in black and white taking on the government. This affidavit very clearly pinpointing that the CBI does want to have more powers. They clearly disagreed with the kind of approvals that were given by the GOM that was put in an affidavit on the 3rd of July in the Supreme Court. Remember, this becomes very crucial because the GOM that was constituted under P. Chidambaram had given out certain guidelines that had to be followed for CBI autonomy. But this affidavit very clearly saying that we want more power we do not believe the kind of <coughs> guidelines that you've given are comfortable with us. Let me go across to page 9 to 12 that are extremely crucial because the CBI is pinpointing they want more powers. They do not want an accountability commission. Remember when on 3rd July the government had filed an affidavit. They had said there should be an accountability commission that will be formed that will act like a referee on the CBI. On this regard, the CBI says we are of the view the creation of an outside accountability commission will have the tendency of compromising discipline within the organization. We also believe it will disturb the chain of command within the organization and we also believe this will indisputably undermine the position of the CBI director. <coughs> Very crucial words because what they are trying to indicate is they don't want an accountability commission to be a referee on them. This was one of the most important suggestions that had been given by the government but the CBI clearly not happy with it saying we don't want it. When it comes to financial powers, the CBI says we want more financial powers. Our financial powers are limited. Whatever you're giving us is akin to what the DG of the CRPF has. They've also at one point of time disagreed agreed with the government and said comparatively to the DGR CRPF, he has more powers as compared to the CBI director. They in fact say it is necessary the CBI director should be vested with ex-official powers of the Secretary of the Government of the India reporting directly to the Honorable Minister without having to go through the DOPT. This will mean the budget for the CBI may be separately put up through the Minister to the Department of Expenditure. They've also said, let it be known and reiterated, and this is extremely important because paragraph 36 clearly saying it needs to be reiterated that financial and administrative powers are essential for the efficiency of the CBI, something they've been saying in the court, and CBI should be free to take routine administrative and financial decisions within prescribed rules. It will undeniably be necessary for the CBI to remain insulated to discharge its core functions without fear or favor. Very clearly what they are pinpointing is that once they are under the power of the government, it is with fear and favor that they are reacting. It is them that they are concerned about. They want that the investigation should be completely out of the hands of the government and they are also saying that we also want to be acting like the ex-official secretary in the government. Page 5 also being crucial which is talking about the non-interference in the CBI's powers. This time also the CBI is saying our powers are limited. In fact, they are saying not only are the administrative powers limited, once again, my camera person will be panning here to show the CBI says the financial powers of the director CBI are limited. This impinges on his ability to ex ex ensure expeditious and complete investigation. Again, they right. make the same want here. It is necessary the director CBI should be vested with ex-official powers of the secretary. A very crucial affidavit. Tomorrow, a hearing in this case, DP, will have to be seen as to how the CBI and the government for one of the first times ever on different battle lines.